All right, so I'm gonna go through the process of setting up UI that you can use for buttons or interacts or sliders or anything like that. Um, there's a lot to this in the sense of setting up the actual like uh, UI itself rather than the code behind it. So this will be a start to finish uh, tutorial like my earlier videos rather than the I've made everything, check it out kind of thing that we've been doing as of late. Uh, so in my hierarchy, I'm just going to right click and create a UI slider. Now what this does is it immediately makes this giant white box and puts the slider down here for some reason. Um, I'm going to set the slider to 0, 0, which sets it in the center of this canvas. However, this canvas is right now rendering over the whole UI, which we don't want. We just want it to be a small in your world kind of thing. So on our canvas, we'll be changing screen space overlay to world space. And now it's actually just in our world. It's still absolutely massive. So I'm gonna shrink this down to 001 and see where that gets us. Perfect, it's way up there though. So let's bring it down here. All right, I'm actually gonna make the ground any other color. Uh, there we go. So we can see our UI a bit better. Uh, for scale, I'm gonna drop down a little capsule in here because this is roughly the same size as the player. Um, let's see, minus two, perfect. All right, so let's say this is our player looking at our UI. So we want this canvas to be 1.5. There we go. Now that slider, really small. So we'll just leave these things and set it to like 10 or something. Uh, perfect. Actually, can we leave that at one and just put a zero at the end of these? Uh, no, it scales that weirdly. All right, we'll just do it the way I had it before. All right, there we go. Um, now I'll just drop this to the bottom. Uh, in order for you to interact with the UI using the kind of ray beam interact system you see in VR chat when you're using the menu, you need to go to add component, uh, get myself a bit more transparent here, uh, and type VRC, uh, uh, VRC UI, there we go, no underscore. And this will put a little script on here. Uh, actually, let me just hide that. All right, uh, this will put a little VRC UI shape on here. And you don't need to do anything else than that. This will just make these uh, objects in here interactable. Um, the other thing you have to do actually is um, you select canvas and change it from UI to let's say default uh, because otherwise if it's just on the UI layer you can't interact with it uh, due to how VRChat does its stuff. All right so if we take a closer look at this slider object here uh, we have a few things going on here but we really only have to care about two of them. One we need to make sure that navigation instead of automatic is set to none. Otherwise, if you're facing this and like the center of your vision is on this and you press A or D, it will automatically go up or down, which makes it really weird when you try to walk up to it and do something because your motion and directional input controls um, also control the UI uh, natively if you don't change navigation to be none. The other thing we care about is on value changed. So this is what we'll be doing all of the fancy stuff uh, when we update something. So for instance, let's just say we want this slider to control the brightness of our directional light. Let's go from zero to one or something, zero to two. So we'll leave that at one right now. So it's right in the middle and we'll get this slider and we have a min value and a max value. We'll leave min at zero and we'll set max to two. Now, if you have this like value here, this is its position and this toggles between the minimum one and the max one. 
Now what we have to do is write a script for this slider. So I have a script folder here. I'll do create U sharp script. You you can do it with a normal Udon uh, graph script as well. Um, this one, uh, I can just do it faster uh, this way. So we'll do this uh, light slider here. I'll, I'll show you what you can do uh, with the normal Udon one as well. It, it It's pretty simple. Uh, so right now we'll just go to slider. We'll drag the C-sharp one on here and hit uh, convert to Udon behavior. And there we go. This one is turned into Udon. And I'll double click this so we can start editing it. All right, now that the script's all loaded up, we'll go right ahead and establish two different variables. One of them will be a private slider, and I'll just call this slide. Uh, ooh, uh, so we wanna get the slider component uh, from this thing here, um, this script right here. However, uh, natively you can't access those things with it on sharp so where it says using you just do a little drop down here uh you go right here press enter and type using unity engine dot ui semicolon there we go now we have access to all the different variables and stuff used in the ui system uh then after this we'll do a public light and I'll just call this light target. All right. Now, th this light will just be the light that we're modifying over here. Uh, in start, we will set slide to equal transform.get component and put in the little carrots slider. There we go. Ooh. And that will just uh, set this variable to be the slider component that we have on the same game object. Now we're going to have a custom event here, uh, public void slide update. There we go. Uh, so now this will be the event that we call on value changed over here. So whenever this slider gets modified or updated, we do light target dot intensity equals slide dot value, which basically is just saying the slider's value, that number is going to be taken and shoved into the light's intensity, which will be between zero and two. I'll just hit control S on this and actually I'll copy slide update because we'll need to tell it to use that over here. And I just want to make sure I have the spelling right. All right, I've just moved my guy a little bit out of the way here so we can see things a bit better. Uh, for light target, we will set this to be our directional light. And up here on value changed, there's like a list of events that you can set to be here. We're going to hit plus. And right here where it says none object, we need to set it to be itself because it will be sending information to this script. So if we take slider and drag it into the spot for it, it gives us a no function option, which actually is just the default and we can choose a function for a bunch of things. We want to go to Udon behavior, Udon behavior, and right down here is send custom event. Chances are your monitor isn't big enough to show this entire list, so you may have to hold down and scroll a little bit, but you'll want send custom event. And this is where we will put slide update. I'll just hit control S. So every time this gets modified, this sends, uh, well, this basically tells it to run this event within this script. Uh, let's see if I hit uh, play here. Uh, we can actually modify this slider uh, in Unity. So if I grab the camera, control shift F and it matches our position here, I can slide it back and forth right here and it can uh, meet whatever position that it needs to be at. Uh, if you 
Okay, when you spawn your slider in Canvas originally, you'll get an object called Event System. Th this is the thing that lets you like move b this back and forth. Uh, if you remove this, this will no longer function in Unity, but it will work fine in VRChat itself. Uh, since our directional light is default at 1, I'm going to select the sliders uh, value defaultly to be 1. Perfect. And I'll control S, compile that again, and let's uh, we'll just get rid of our capsule and boot into game to see how it works when we interact with it there. All right, now we're back in game. We can run up to this. If you feel around it, uh, during uh, play mode, I guess I could have showed this in Unity itself, but when you press play and everything gets launched up, it'll put a box collider around this. And since it's on the default layer, you collide with it. Uh, but this is what allows us to uh, run up and drag around like this. So you see it's modifying the directional light intensity when we do this. Uh, and you can see it a bit on my avatar when I walk around, but and now I'm super bright. All right, so next we will be setting up a button to turn the light on and off. Uh, j just as another example of UI things that you can use. So on the canvas, we'll right click here, create UI uh, button right here. And I'm gonna move my dude again. All right, so on our button, we're gonna set navigation to be none, of course. Uh, let's move it up here a bit and make it a bit more visible. Uh, rec transform, let's bump you up to uh, 10 as well. So on our button, we'll need another script. Uh, I'm going to right click here, create new U sharp, and I'm going to call this UI underscore game object toggle. Uh, that way we can know that this script is specifically for the UI, but can be used at any point to toggle any form of game object on and off. It, it's always good to be able to reuse scripts that you've already made rather than having to uh make them for everything so it's best to try to make them as universal as possible so we're going to do the same thing we did before where we're doing using unity engine dot ui and we'll have a private button uh button and a public game object target on start we'll set button to equal transform dot get component uh, button and then we'll make our custom event so we'll do a public oops, public void let's call this uh, ob object toggle and when we do this we will set the target dot set active to equal uh, in these parentheses target dot active self or in hierarchy you can do either I typically do active in hierarchy um, I don't personally know a difference but <laughs> Uh, so right now this just sets it to its current status. So we need to put a exclamation point before this. So it's a uh, target dot set active equals the opposite of target presently active in the hierarchy. I'll just hit control S on this and we'll come back in here. We'll let it compile a little bit since this is going on down here. We'll come back to our button and we'll put UI game object on here. Set that and just compile everything, make sure it's all working. We'll set our directional light in the target slot. And on the button, we'll do the same thing as we did before. We'll put button itself in the on click option. We'll do udon behavior send custom event. And what did I call this? Uh, object toggle. Object toggle. Yep. All right, 
right, we'll save that. I'll move the camera, control shift up to here, uh, just so we can see it over here. We'll hit play and we'll see if it works. And look at that, we have a directional light toggle just by pressing this button and we can do it as fast as we want. And then just to be sure, we'll load this up in VR chat to make sure it works. All right, if we load back in, we can run up to our button and yeah, we can interact with it. We can set it all the way down to nothing. We can set it all the way to max and turn it back on and it's really bright. All right. So that's the basics of using uh, buttons with custom events in VRChat using Udon. Uh, there's a lot more that you can do with these, but this is just the easy way to get started and know that everything's working. Also, the way you know you're hovering over a canvas is uh, your, your little glowy UI particle reticle will uh, be visible on it. Uh, there you go. Now you can use that. Uh, one other thing that you could do, um, th this is just a quick little tip more than anything else. Uh, if you set your canvas to be on UI menu layer, um, you will only be able to interact with it while your menu is open. So if for say you have a lot of like UI in your world and you don't want people to be accidentally accessing it all of the time, you can have it set so that they need to have their menu open in order to use it. It's just one little fun thing that you can do. And people have, were doing it a while back. Um, but I'll, I'll personally always keep it on default because I always have my things. It's just like a big panel against a wall or something like that. But that is the basics of integrating actual UI with Udon. Hope you enjoyed.